This audio is brought to you by listeners like you. Whether it's by liking, commenting, sharing, or following, all of it is appreciated. You can also support by becoming a member on Patreon or YouTube, or by buying the merch if the fancy strikes you. Links are in the description. Thank you so much, and I hope that you enjoy. Good! You have pleased me well, disciples of the Bleeding Fog. I consider this meeting adjourned. My devout subjects are hereby dismissed. Halt. Not you. Yes, you. Stay. I believe I dismissed my devout subjects. Did I not? <laughs> <laughs> All other followers, vacate the room immediately. I must take care of this petulant little issue. Now then, come. Kneel. Very good. Rise. I have kept my infant, all-seeing eyes on you during our ceremony this evening. <laughs> yes, indeed. From before you set foot in this very chamber, I knew you would be... Troublesome under this moon. And so I watched. I bore into your very soul and observed what my supposed follower was thinking. And like that I stayed. Through the bonfire, through the sacrifice, and through the sacred chants. During this insignificant micro-instant of space-time, would you like to know what I witnessed. I witnessed a soul whose heart was not in it. Now tell me, how do you think that makes me feel? How do you think your god might react to such a blasphemous transgression? Hmm. Not pleasantly, I assure you. <laughs> I can sense it, the way you're quaking in your robes. You have something you wish to say. Speak! Whoa, whoa, calm yourself. There is no need to panic. What? Devour your soul. Now why would I waste a perfectly serviceable vessel like that? Easy, easy, I... Silence! My dear subject, listen to me. I am not going to harm you. When I said my reaction would be unpleasant, that is true. But my unpleasant reaction is not of rage. It is of concern, so please, I wish to assist you. You may speak once more, but refrain from giving in to your instincts. It's animalistic and unbefitting of my teachings. Of course not. 
Why do you think I would kill one of my finest followers? Indeed, you always come to these rituals with conviction. The exact type of conviction I seek out in a mortal. So it only wars me all the more when you do not seem to chant with belief or ignite the flames with passion. We even sacrifice the most pure-hearted virgin from the village on this eve. You normally love child sacrifices. Please, tell me what's bothering you. If I may offer even a shred of relief, I shall. Come, how powerless do you believe me to be? You are not taking up my time, as I have no need for such a concept. Time is not a constraint for a being such as myself. It is simply another tool I have to bend life to my whim. So explain what troubles you. I insist. That soul of yours is more honest than your words, young one. There is no hiding anything from my gaze. With that in mind, I expect you to try again and tell your god the truth. I see. You have experienced a very tiresome day, a difficult week, perhaps, or by chance an even longer stretch of existence. Truly, you have my sympathies. What? Why would I speak of your problems in such a belittling manner? That is true. It is nothing compared to the cruel, oppressive grasp of the universe I inhabit day by day. But that does not mean you aren't also struggling. Just because we share different burdens does not mean only the greatest is allowed to suffer. When an infant feels a slight chill, it begins weeping. But that is only because that is the most horrific most frigid temperature it has ever experienced. I look upon you in much the same way. As a small, helpless, wailing sack of flesh I must maintain and guide. Simply because you don't feel the constant weight of the universe's uncaring nature doesn't mean I see your problems as lesser or worthy of ridicule. What kind of god would I be if I refused to treat my subjects with the most basic of social graces? Indeed. So, until I can finally rise up to feast upon the denizens of this miserable little world, just as I have done to countless others, and will do to endless more. I shall do my best to keep my disciples in high spirits. High, dreadful, despair-filled spirits. Do not misconstrue what I speak. I can and will torment any fool who decides to stand in my way. But simply feeling down is not standing in my way. Slowing the process, perhaps. But we all have dark days. It is the nature of being human, of having a soul. Hmm. I sense... You still do not feel satisfied with our conversation. Why? Ah, 
Simply speaking to you will not solve your problems. Of that, you are correct. <laughs> I cannot fix those problems for you. How ludicrous. <laughs> have the ability to do so. My skills are reality shattering after all, but I will not. Despite the grace I have shown you, I am a dark elder god hell-bent on bringing Armageddon to your very reality. Did you forget? Indeed, I must preserve my powers until the stars are aligned, for that is when I may feed. Even if my cultists bleed and weep, I will not do more than what is necessary. Surely you understand why it is of no consequence to me. No, no, do not dismay. Pay close attention to my words. My loyal disciple, while I may not wipe your troubles away from the fabric of reality, you have no need for me to, because you hold such a power within yourself. Yes, the horrors persist, but so do you, and as long as you persist, as long as you challenge each sunrise with the very conviction I chose you for, nothing in your path shall withstand its inevitable demise. Indeed, my pupil, if there is one thing you should believe in more than anything else, it is me. But if there must be a second thing, it is your own abilities. Should you retain that information, your fleeting existence may be one of pride and entertainment to myself, naturally. <laughs> now, my disciple, should you ever feel trapped in the depths of agonizing apathy again, seek out my guidance, for I am always watching and I can always reach you. <laughs> you are hereby dismissed. <laughs>